Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer files from your Android or mobile device to your Xbox RetroArch retail mode. We're going to be doing this again through Tarango FTP. I'm not going to be showing you how to set up RetroArch in today's video. I will be leaving a link in the description down below to my previous video where I show you step by step how to do that. What you can do is watch that over there, come back here, and then I'm going to be showing you specifically how to transfer files from your Android device to your Xbox. So the first thing we're going to be doing is starting on our Xbox. Again, we're going to be opening up Durango FTP. And from this point, we're simply going to be coming down to the top left again, and we're going to be clicking start. And then our Durango FTP server is going to start. From this point, we're going to be focusing on the right. And again, we're going to be looking at the addresses of this device as well as the port number. We're going to be needing that a little bit later once we install our FTP client on our Android device to connect to this. Otherwise, what you need to do from now is head over to your Android device. What we're going to be doing is coming to our Play Store and we're going to be searching for this file explorer right here, CX File Explorer. Again, I'll be leaving this link in the description down below. You can also search this on the Play Store. What you need to do is get this installed. I already have this installed at the moment and then we're going to be opening it up. If this is your first time opening it up, you will have to click Next on the Privacy Policy. We will have to allow it access to your device. Simply click Next, confirm on this little pop-up. It's then going to take a couple of seconds and you should be brought to the main storage screen right here. From this point, I will also mention you do need to make sure you're connected to the same network as your Xbox when doing this. You cannot be on 3G, 4G or 5G. You do need to be on the same local network as your Xbox to be able to successfully connect. From this point, we're going to be coming to the Network tab right here on our CX File Explorer. We're going to be clicking New Location. We're going to be clicking remote and we're going to be clicking on the FTP option right here. From this point, we'll have a couple things we need to fill in. We're going to have to enter our host and we're going to have to enter our port. Now, by default, the port is set up correctly on our Durango FTP is 21, so that should be fine. And in the host option, we simply need to enter the IP address that's underneath the addresses of this device that shows up on Durango FTP. Now, this should start with 192 and the rest you will have to find on your Xbox and then fill in here. This will be unique to your Xbox. So you will need to fill it in manually. We're then going to be enabling the anonymous checkbox here as we don't actually need to enter the username and password. This is assuming you have the allow anonymous checkbox on your Durango FTP enabled. As you can see on my Durango FTP, it is enabled and it should be enabled by default. So this should work for you. And from this point, we're actually directly inside of our Xbox File Explorer. From this point, we're simply going to be coming to the local folder right here. We're then going to be looking for our RetroArch folder, which for me is right here. As you can see, it mentions RetroArch in the title. We're going to be clicking into this. And then here we're directly inside of our Xbox folder. From here, we're simply going to be going to local state. And here we can see all of the folders we might need to access when actually transferring or taking files off of our Xbox. So what we're mostly going to be looking for here is the system folder. And this is where we can put all of our necessary BIOS files or system files for our RetroArch. Now to actually transfer files to this is also really easy. We can simply back out of here to the homepage of our CX file explorer. We can see our FTP network is now here, so we can really easily access this a little bit later. So if you want to transfer something, you can simply come to your local storage select anything here that you would like to transfer. So I'm simply going to be using this image here as an example. We can press and long press this file. We can then click copy. We can then come back on the top left. We're going to be going back to our network. We're going to be going back to our FTP, to our local folder, to our RetroArch folder, again to local state. We can come to any folder here we want. We can then click paste. And then a couple of seconds later, our files will transfer over. Now, of course, depending on how large your files are or how many files you're transferring, this can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, but it's super easy to do from your Android device. And using this new FTP method in the retail mode of RetroArch, it's super nice to do. It's really easy to set up and transfer everything over. If you would like to delete or remove anything, again, we simply long press it, click delete, click OK. The file will then be removed. And it's as easy as that to manage your Xbox FTP from your Android device. Anyway, guys, I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Joshua Davis, and Devonte Hunt. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. If you would like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button on any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.